All right, survivors, welcome back to Unturned Hard Mode on the New Brunswick map. We're picking up right where we left off. Oh, hold up. Here in uh, Moncton, just outside Moncton. And I'd forgotten that I had planted that, so I want to grab it before I drive off without it. Yeah, so we're over here. Here's Moncton. Let's zoom in. Since we don't have a uh, an arrow on the map, we have to zoom in and center it. And we are in the center of the map, like right over here somewhere, right near the baseball diamond, which is right there. And that has been turned into a sort of makeshift field hospital here outside of Moncton to help the refugees from the city. Didn't turn out too well for anybody, though, including the doctors. They're all infected. And we're pretty much the sole survivors here, guys. Uh, so, yeah, ended up, anyway, we finished up right here last week. Today is now Tuesday morning, although it feels like a Monday because I just got back from sort of a mini vacation. And we have some putrefication tablets. Here, let's pour that into that uh, bottle soda. Oh, looks delicious. Nice and putrefied. Mm -mm -mm. And we can make another berry, too. I have some more jade berries here. Let's whip that up into a refined and might as well eat it. Is that going to help our toxicity level? No, not at all. I think we need the uh, the mauve, right? Or the pink eye, I forget. Uh, at, yeah, anyway, so it's Tuesday. It feels like Monday. Just got back. I'm a little bit behind the eight ball here, a little under the weather. Um, I can't laugh. So whatever you do, do not make me laugh because it hurts. I smashed up my ribs and my obliques, which are the muscles above the ribs, pretty well at the Tough Mudder on uh, Saturday was the big event, and that's what I did over the weekend. Tough Mudder, 10 miles, 10 to 12 miles is the estimate. 25 various obstacles. Oh, uh, sn uh, snow. <laughs> yeah, there was no, there was no uh, snow on the mountain this year, but there has been in the past. But yeah, there's a lot of water, a lot of mud, a lot of barbed wire, um, and walls and ropes, and it's pretty crazy. But a, a t it's a, it's a lot of fun. We had a group of uh, 12 guys this year, and uh, we all got through it. Did pretty well. No major injuries, although I did smash up my ribs and every time i laugh or cough or sneeze it hurts like the dickens <laughs> so whatever you do don't make me do any of that as i laugh that's great good job good job anyway so yeah it does feel like a monday too i'm a little bit uh a little bit out of it we're gonna get some gas because i have a gas can here and hopefully we can get out of here before those guys show up They're chasing us and i think what we're gonna do is go to uh hold on is anybody coming no i think we're clear let's bring up the map we i want to go over here to the grand lake trailer park because we could probably stock up on some food over there if we're lucky we might be able to find a gun and a bit of ammo too assuming some of the homeowners up here might have some of that available right um what do we have for and what oh three rounds one magazine, three rounds. That's terrible. Oh, look at my gun. That's, you're holding it like a gangster, Papa. That's not how you hold the gun. Thank you. That's right. Straight up. Doesn't work the other way. <laughs> uh, I hate when I watch it on TV or they shoot sideways. Yeah, try shooting a handgun sideways and see how well you do. Should we go into this? Let's go over here first, but hold on. There's, I just got a text message, and it's from my wife. Let me check this out right quick. Um, hang on. All right, I'm back. So, yeah, I got to drop off my Jeep at the dealer today. It's got 40,000 miles on it. Can't believe 40,000 miles already. Although I've had it for four years now. It doesn't seem like four years. But I have had it for four years. And I got to bring it in. Oh, gas can. I got to bring it in for its 40,000 uh, maintenance thing. Checkup and all that stuff. So, got to leave pretty soon. And hopefully I can get back. No fuel, liars. Hopefully I can get back into the swing of things here because I feel like I'm so out of the loop. Anytime I go away for any amount of time, especially if it's been four days, I just feel like I've forgotten everything. Um, let's bump up stealth. I'm just going to sneak right by this guy. Grab that can. doesn't make noise when you pick stuff up, does it? <laughs> good. All right. Well, that's good. We got an extra gas can, guys. This is amazing. Awesome. Let's chuck it in here. So now we can travel a little farther anyway. Okay. Let's go. Let's get over to the Grand Lake Trailer Park. Which means I gotta turn around, right? Is it that way by the river? I think so. It's down by the river. Alright, let's get down by the river. 
Oh, clipped it. I knew it. I always just clip those little things. Now we can go around the roadblock here, although it might be worth looking into these police cars. I missed that. Maybe there's a gun or some ammo. Uh, oh, somebody's coming. Oh, this guy I can wail on. Good, 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 good. I like the crawlies. Oh, batter up. It's appropriate. Next to Whoa, oh, jeez. Oh, I got stuck on some. You, I got stuck on a joysy barrier. Oh, my gosh. And what? Where's my numbers? Where's my numbers? Oh, and he made me bleed. Not a good way to start the day. And let's check the numbers here. How come? That's usually set to number three, but for some odd reason... It did not work. Let's eat the painkillers, too. All right. Back up to 100%. That was not worth it. Yeah, when you're backpedaling, you really should know where you're going. Because when you get stuck like that, they nibble on your toes. Not cool. Not cool at all. And I think I think it's going to be dark soon. Oh, gosh. I'm down to 56%. <laughs> Toxicity, too. Uh, maybe we should just go back to the tents and look around. I feel like that's kind of cheaty, though. Because we were just there. We were just there in the last episode. Let's not do that. Let's just continue. Let us continue. And we'll go to this um, trailer park down by the river. And maybe we'll find some medicine in some of the trailers. Some food and water would be nice, too. Or at least something to drink. Oh, here's some tents. Oh, and I see a hedge park on the road in case we need to make a hasty exit. Oh! Jeez. And here comes another one. Alright, I'm going to try to take this guy down. Get him over here to the edge. Wham! Whew! Okay. Uh, two hits. Two hits is good. Two big swing and hits. That's all we need. That's all we need. Uh, Alright, let's do it. We don't have much daylight left here, unfortunately. Oh! We got a burner right there. Flamer. So let's go around him. If I have to shoot him, I will, I suppose. Another baseball bat. I'll take the shirt. We're going to need the cloth and uh, hockey mask. I'll try to do this fast before the sun goes down. But I don't want to attract too much attention. We only have one flare. Only one flare. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to attract attention. Let's smash all the windows. Can I squeeze through there? But I think I see something on the counter there. What is that? It's just decoration, isn't it? Yeah, this is decoration. I don't see anything useful in there, so I'm not going to go that way. It's a backpack. I guess I can grab that. Oh, check this out. There's a boat trailer and a boat. That's pretty cool. Never seen that before. Day pack. Oh, I never put my uh, my bedroll down. Man, I gotta remember to do that. Before we enter any places like this, you really should do that. Now, if I time this right, I should be able to smash this guy. Hey! One shot. Knock his backpack right off. Alright, awesome. I gotta check this out. This is really cool. Anything in the boat? No? Oh, gosh. Cable ties. <laughs> Useless. I guess, do they hear that if I smash the windows? It doesn't look like it. Out the window. I'm just gonna check a few of these. I can't check all of them. And I've kind of already forgotten which ones I've checked anyway. A knife. It's not really very helpful. Yeah, this, we're striking out here, guys. This is pretty bad. I guess that's just a blue mobile home. I like smashing the windows and going inside. That's actually kind of fun. Oh, I'll take it. Might get some purification tablets. Cloth. Yeah. Uh, ugh, chocolate bar. You know what? I'm not going to eat that. You can't purify chocolate, can you? I don't think so. This is not looking good. Did I just see a boat? Police boat? Is that a police boat? That's an operational police boat. Oh, that would be cool. That'd be great for getting around. That'd be fun, too. 
Um, there's a lot of water here in New Brunswick. Yeah, that boat would be pretty useless because this is the only body of water that we can actually use it in a little river. It's not connected to anything. Uh, oh man. All right, well, we have a lot of cloth. And 51% oh, candy bar. That I can eat. Yeah, it didn't do much though, did it? All right, we got two crawlies. I should be able to take these guys down as long as I don't back into anything. All right. Three shots to the noggin. One. Two. How many licks does it take? Three. And hopefully there's nobody in here. I see statues of Mr. Moncton. Is that Mr. Moncton? I think that's probably Moncton. I don't know. Never been there, to be honest. Ow, that hurts. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. All right. Yeah, so I'm doing another Tough Mudder in um, in July. In about three weeks. And then another one in August. And so that way, next June will be my 10th. So I've done seven so far. And I'm one behind one of the guys that I do this with. Uh, that's why I'm sneaking one in um, in July in, on Long Island. So I can catch up to him and we can do our 10th together. Because we started together. There's a little car here. I guess I don't really need it. Uh, oh, jeez. Don't want to back into anybody. Still need meds. So I think what we're going to have to do is head to a city or something and try to find a hospital. Maybe, what was this, Dorchester? Dorchester. Yeah, we can turn around and go over into Dorchester and then um, see if we can find a pharmacy or something over there. All right, yeah, let's just turn around. And, let, well, we're not turning around. We're going to go down the river. Follow the river, which is over in this direction. Although, I'm going to save it right here on the road. Er just so if we have a crash, and it's been pretty good so far. Really? 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 Wow. Okay. How's my back? Back is clear? Thank you. Ooh. It's one, and whammo! Whew. Oh, and he dropped some salty chips. Everybody loves their salty chips in New Brunswick. All right. Yeah, we're going to need something to drink pretty soon. So, yeah, let me just get organized real quick here, save it, and then we'll head into Dorchester. Let's see what's good over there. So, hang tight, be right back. All right, guys, I am back, but unfortunately, I'm not organized just yet. Not fully, anyway. I did a little bit of off camera work. Uh, I know for you, it was like a split second since I left, but for me, it's been a few hours. I actually went and dropped off my Jeep, like I said I was going to do. And I stopped and got a nice iced coffee. So I got some coffee in the system right now, and I'm feeling a little nutty. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. So let's do something crazy. Let's turn little purple pickup truck here, aka Pup, into a killing machine. Yeah. Now, little Pup here is never going to be quite as awesome as old Earl Yurl, who was a master at smooshing zombies <laughs> on the highways. <laughs> But he was built like a tank. He was made for killing zombies. But this little fella, nope, not so much. Not nearly as durable. So we're going to have to give him a little help. We're going to have to keep an eye on his health. And we're going to give him uh, some barbed wire to slice through them zombies before they can chew up the little guy. Yeah, there we go. All right, yeah, ain't no, he ain't no Earl the Earl, that's for sure. But he's just going to have to do for now. All right, so yeah, I ended up going and dropping off my Jeep, so I didn't get a chance to do everything I wanted to do before starting to uh, reach re uh, re record. But I think I think we're good. Let's give that a number six for distraction purposes, and we have I think four bullets, three bullets in the Colt, eight in the Blunt Force. We got our makeshift bat, and do we have any skills? Oh yeah, we got skills. Thirty-seven. Let's um let's hit harder. Yeah, sooner or later we want to be able to kill these bums with one whack, right? Which I'm not sure if that's even going to be possible with the baseball bat on hard mode, but we're going to find out. 
All right, I think now we're ready. Yeah, just checking the water situation. We have an empty water canister and we're down to 35% water. Uh, we're gonna need to get something to drink like real fast. So hopefully there's a water tower over here in Dorchester. All right, anyway, let's get going over the bridge to Dorchester we go, woohoo! And I like using the natural light instead of those NVGs. Oh, here we are, we're, we're there. And where's all the zombies at? Where's all the zombies at? I don't see any zombies. I see I see a flamer down there though. And a spitterer. Ooh. Well, oh, that's not good. Uh that's alright. Maybe we can drive right by them. Let us strategize here. First, let's check these houses. Maybe we can get something to drink real quick. And then we can move on. Uh oh, a cult mag with one round in it. Woohoo! Thank you, Apocalypse Elves. Stinking stingy buggers. And that's it. What is this right there? Nothing. I thought I saw a juice box out of the corner of my eye. I was deceived. Uh, that's it, huh? Okay, great. Let's check the house on the other side, and then we're just going to boogie, I think. We're going to roll right through town. Like I said, get nutty. We'll keep our eyes open for a pharmacy, or a... Uh, what else are we looking for? Practitioner, I guess. That's kind of the same thing. Oh, how useless. What am I going to do with cable ties? Seriously, it's a single-player game. I'm not going to tie myself up. It does give me some wire, though. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's what I find in this map, it seems like. I get paper. I get books. Oh, hold on. Let's go sneak around and whack this guy from behind. Um, I get cable ties. I get all, all kinds of things that work in multi... <laughs> that are designed for multiplayer! Oh! Oh! Oh, got him. Whew. Things that are designed for multiplayer, right? But uh, have pretty much no purpose in single player other than to break down. Now, that was great. I killed that guy in one shot. One shot. That's pretty good. Let's see. Can I do that again? Wham! Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, you got me. Wham. All right, so it's two shots. I just didn't backpedal fast enough. Dang it. Dang it. All right, well, let's heal up. It's okay. Plenty of bandages, plenty of bandages. I'm not bleeding. Uh, immunity is down to 53% though. Yes, I'm taking crazy risks here just because that thing's all cockeyed. There we go, better, much better. Um, because it's more dramatic and drama's fun, right? Now, normally I wouldn't take these risks in a regular playthrough because I would, my survival instincts would kick in and I'd try to just stay alive forever. Uh, ooh, scary. scary. Okay, okay, now we can go. Oh, see? <laughs> walkie-talkie! What am I going to do with a walkie-talkie? This is what I'm talking about. Salvage it. There's nobody here to talk to. We're all alone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, that... It could have been, like, a... Could have been a, um... A juice box or a soda. But, nope. It's a walkie-talkie. We can call ourselves. Great. Just great. Uh, I was saying, yeah, I don't usually take risks like this, but... Got to try to keep the action up, right? Keep it interesting. It's like going to a horror movie, right? And you see that guy that, um, you're like, no, don't go in the bathroom! And then the guy goes in the bathroom. Of course, that's where he gets killed in the bathroom. Because the bad guy is hiding out, right? And I just whacked again. Wham! Step up! Batter up! It's okay. It's okay. We're getting the experience here. We're getting the experience. And this is all good. It's all by design. Let's put this down over here real quick. Just kind of get it out of town. Put it over here in this tree. Because we're going to drive through. And if there's anything here that we want to stop for, we're going to have to get out and potentially battle some zombies. And I'm so close to 50. Uh, uh, less than 50. What? Oh, the zombies. Oh, we're right at the uh, we're right at the border here. Watch. Poof, gone. We got a new set of zombies. Oh, which means we got a new set of loot. Oh, but that's so cheaty. That is so cheaty. I could just keep going back and forth that invisible line to get um, a nice soda or something, right? Shelves, the, the cabinets are still open. Though. Who's that? Oh, it's just a guy with a, a toque. Wham! All right. Oh, we didn't like that. I can't say that I blame him. Hey! Bam! All right. Four experience. How's our experience doing? 31. Uh, yeah, let's bump up the move speed. Okay. All right, let's go. Now, now we're gonna go. Let's just go drive through town. 
let's drive through town and let's do oh gosh oh gosh i can't see anything <laughs> i think we got to take a left here should have looked at the map and another left look at all the flankers oh look at that house it's missing walls and i'm looking for I'm lo oh cops oh wait cop station yeah we got to go to the cop shop whoa police car oh spitter uh wait a minute this doesn't look right i think i'm back in the center of town oh no we're good Wait a minute, this is the way it came in? Hold up a sec. Did I just go around in a circle? <laughs> oh, water tower! This, this, no, I did not go around in a circle. Did I? No! Oh, this is the other side of town. I was going to say, it looks exactly like the other side of town. Perfect. Yes, I meant to do that. But my sleeping bag and my fire is on the other side of town. But there's a water tower right there. We can go drink some dirty water. But the problem with the dirty water is it'll put us less than 50%. And then we'll have to do that whole uh, race to the hospital to get meds. While you slowly die of zombie disease. Which is pretty exciting. Right? I mean, that's what I was talking about. Excitement. Keeping things exciting and moving forward. And um, taking those crazy risks. So maybe we'll do that. Yeah. But let me kill this guy first. Wham! <laughs> And then a wham! Two shots. I like it. Thanks for the shite. How about something to drink here? I wish I could just, like, run the water and then drink out of the sink. But you can't do that. And I guess the water would be off anyway, right? Unless they had their own little well. But then a pump wouldn't work unless they had a generator. Yeah, so, alright, never mind that. Never mind that. Never mind that suggestion. What is this? Oh, <gasps> grilled cheese sandwich, and it's a good one! Mmm! It's still fresh. Oh, it filled us up, gave us a little bit of hydration. I thought those hydrated better. They used to. They used to give like 50 hydration. All right, we're still, we're still in dire straits here, guys. We need water and we need it pretty quick. Gotta go to the police station though, maybe get some ammo. So let's do that. And then we'll have to make a break for that um, water tower, drink out of it, drink the dirty contaminated water and then race to a hospital. We can go to the one in Moncton again, or we can try to find one somewhere else. Is that guy leaking out of his face? Oh, he sure is. This could be bad. But I don't think I... I can't kill him with one shot from behind. I don't think I can. And if I don't, and he squirts us, it's Coitons. And I'm not quite ready to die. Not quite ready to die. Let's go see if we can get some ammo. Oh, hi. <laughs> Oh, good. Yeah, you come on over here. It's fine. Don't make it quick, because I'm getting thirsty. Wham! Give me that toque. Two hits. Two Whoa! Oh, I did the thing where you back up and hit something. Fortunately, I leaped backwards and was out of his range. Whew. All right. Police station. Can't get back into the cells. And there's nothing here. Oh, what a ripoff. Yeah, I'm not liking these elves right now. Not happy with the elves. It's a fire station. Oh, we don't have an axe, do we? Um, because we talked about building a base. And there's some kind of weird tower over there too, right? We were gonna build a base, weren't we? In this se in this season, this series, but um, we don't have an axe to do that. I mean, oh, there's a piece of paper, the other useless item. But I don't know if I want to build a base. I don't know if we're gonna be in this map long enough. Uh. All right, well, you know what? Let's just go over there and check that fire department, and then we'll call it quits. And I think we can race over to the, um, race to that water tower, if I can remember how to get over there. Uh, there's a kitchen here. There's nothing to drink. Nothing. <laughs> Wreck that micro. And what is this? A firefighter top. No axe. Figures. Oh, we get notes. We get walkie-talkies. We get cable ties. We get books. What else do we get? Useless, useless items. <laughs> but we can't even get a darn axe. One little axe. Oh, engineer pants. Oh, I wonder. Oh, wait, they're not gonna have. As, they're not gonna hold as much of my cargo shorts, but they're gonna look phenomenal. Oh, look at those. Look at those! They look great! You know what? I'm gonna keep mine for now. They look awesome. Now, what's up with this thing here? 
Hmm. Firefighter helmet. Yeah. It's just a weird tower. Let's get up to the top and see what's up there. 6% water, guys. We're going to have to race to that water tower. And it's a snowman. It's a stinking snowman. Why is there a snowman up here? What am I going to do with a snowman? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, where are we? Uh, shoot. Now I lost my bearings. Um, at the school. Yeah, we came in that way. I think we got to go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm not really even <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm going to have to think about this. I'm make a run for it. All right, well, we're going to make a run for it next time. I'm going to call it quits right here on top of the uh, fire department. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll make a run for it. All right, hope you enjoyed this, uh, this episode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Take care.